Um, but uh, my dad woke me up the next morning. And he was like, Justin, wake up. And I'm like, what, Dad? He's like, what the hell did you do last night? I changed some fucking lives, Dad. That's what I did last night. And if you would have been there, your life would have been fucking changed, too. He goes, oh, really? You changed your fucking life? Well, Greg's dad just called, and he wants to hold a parents' meeting today at 3.30 because of something you did last night. And I'm thinking in my fucking head, you're damn fucking right he wants to hold a parents' meeting. <laughs> They're going to put all their fucking money together to big save for their children and put it into Justin fucking Burstyn's house. And I guess I'll let their kids be my backup, man. <laughs> Shit, lucky. I said, you better suit up and show up. So we rolled over there three fucking deep, right? My mom, my dad, me, and our 1987 battleship great Pinto. Right? Playing. That bitch had shocks on it. Tell me that the bitch had, but it was no shock, so you jump and it just got to burn. So it seemed like it was dropped like, all the time. So I felt hard roll over there. But we kind of lived in the hood, you see. Because my dad was a cop in Houston, and he didn't make a lot of money. But where we were going for this meeting was in Bel Air. Right. So we pull up to this house, and I'm like, what the fuck? It was, you know? And I remember it was like a scene from Reservoir Dogs when we rolled up in that bitch. Right? My dad just. <laughs> and then my mom, you know, Christian Jesus love me. Boosh. It's her dress just. You know? I mean, it was slow motion and shit, and then I get out like a fucking rock star. I'm just like, Dad, push the seat up. Come <laughs> on! Don't fuck around, Dad! <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> We're good. We're good. So we walk up to this big door, right? Are you laughing or crying, baby? You all right? I need a fucking hug. It's all right. I walk up to this door. It must have been 20 feet tall, and I push it open, and the air conditioner hits my semi-long hair, and it's like, wow. Fucking perfect triangle formation. We walk up in that bitch, I'm like, Daddy's here. It's all good. We can start this, my body. So we walk in there, though, and we get to the middle of their living room, and it's like, uh, kid, parent, parent, kid, parent, parent, kid. Like, they're all sitting there just waiting looking at us. Like they called the night before to each other and said, let's get there 30 minutes early so we can walk in, we can fuck them up, right? <laughs> you don't know who the fuck I'm with. I'm just a fucking person. <laughs> so we get up in that bitch, right? I'm like, Dad, sit down. I got this. Mom, sit down. You ready? And they all look at us and Greg Hammond's dad. I'd like to call this meeting to order. <laughs> We're worried about you, Justin. We don't agree with what you sang about last night. Personally, a few of us are, all of, all of us are scared now. And we, how do I say this? We don't want you hanging out with our children anymore. And um, this is tough. I was like, shh, 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 right there. Don't fucking say it. I had to have some face, right? I had to save some face. So I stopped him right there and I said, hey, 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 hey. Mm. I quit. <laughs> I'm going to start a little band called Blue October, right? Wait, hold on, hold on. I need it for a second. <laughs> but I remember it like this. I said, fuck this stupid ass to him with their mediocre ass players. I'm going to start a band called Blue October. What? Now, the <laughs> And that's what it sounded like in my head. Oh!